so as family, I actually am backed up today's Wednesday. I have to get ready to... Oh, I almost thought my dick was in the screen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I have to get ready to finish recording, you know, finish editing my Simeon Panda video. Then I have to get my workout in because I was going to do it yesterday, but I got called into work a little bit earlier and so much crap happened, so I got backed up. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try to continue this grind. Ah, shower me, son, shower me. Yeah, and just get this working, man. It's 9 o'clock. I woke up earlier. I'm tired, but I was like, F it, yo. I gotta wake up earlier so I could use my time a lot more wisely instead of laying in bed, not doing shit. Okay, the way in. It's not 153.6. It's actually 152.8. Probably some fluctuation though, but around 152 now. Hey, you know what? Maybe this shit ain't for you. This video, these videos are for motherfuckers trying to get big. You ain't trying to get big. Eat your asparagus. Well, fuck, fuck you, you Chris. You fuck fuck grow. you. She got to throw her size, nigga. So I scrambled two eggs. Gonna get two slices of bread. Each, uh, each calorie. And the calorie for each slice of bread is. For two slices, 180 calories, so that's 90 calories each. So yeah, not gonna be a bad meal. Around 400 calories, I would say. Okay, so I finished eating. I'm gonna get back to recording, I mean editing the video so I can get it up today. And after that, I'm gonna go get my workout in, come back, have my protein shake, see if I have enough time to go see my son, come back, probably even start editing this video. Oh man, I'm gonna continue the grind, man. Put in that work, put in that work. Ah, I've been feeling really good lately. The depression is kind of gone for a bit, but I know it comes back sometimes, but F it. Right now, I'm not going to think about that. Simeon Panda, fake natty exposure, polygraph test slash drug test, a whole propaganda, whatever you may call it. You know what? I have to go record. I have to. I'm getting too engaged in this discussion on Simeon Panda. Like, I, I was just waiting for you guys' responses. Like, I can't wait to read all of your guys' comments. So let me go have a protein shake. I already made my macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna drink that, rest for a little bit so I could digest, get my workout in, come back, eat macaroni and cheese, and then get back to the computer and eat some other food later on. Oh yeah, I have to do grocery shopping. <laughs> Of course. Man, your girls make no sense. I'm tired of arguing with them. I don't even argue with them anymore. You're freaking dumb, bro. This looks nice. That works? Come on, Tom. What do you think the pulse head setting is for? I'll be right back. Look at the ashiness on my hand, bro. I need some lotion. But anyway, I'm actually on my way to go get some pizza that my mom ordered. Thank her. I thank her so much for that because I love me some Pizza Hut. But yeah, like I didn't even get the workout in. Hopefully the park remains empty when I get back because I still didn't get the workout in since I was responding to you guys' comments. I know I said I was going to take a break, but damn, it was just so interesting. And your, your comments were coming in. I was like, I want to see what you guys are going to say. There was actually one person who kind of upset me because... I was like, you clearly did not watch the video. He basically dissed me for making an entire video on dissing Simeon Panda when the entire video was pretty much me defending him. But eh, there's always going to be those losers in the comment section that act like they're better than me for whatever I'm doing. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. I'm better than you, man. I'm better than you. You can't be doing that. That's pretty much what he was saying. He's like, oh, I know they do this and that, but that doesn't make it okay for you to to go and diss people who are not the same as you or who doesn't have similar beliefs as you and stuff. I don't know what he was saying. I didn't even read the entire paragraph, but it was pretty much stupid. But for the most part, y'all responded really well. I thought I was gonna get a lot of dislikes, but I was wrong. That's why his family got my back, bruh. Hopefully this video explodes and a lot of people see it. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So I just finished my workout. The pump is freaking amazing. I'm loving it. I killed arms today, but 
as you guys can see, it's so dark outside, so I could not record it. You can't even see my black ass face. So, I'll be training legs tomorrow, and I'll record that just to show you guys what I'm doing, which is pretty much going to be the same thing, probably. We will see, we'll see. Okay, so the workout is finally complete. I didn't actually do total upper body today because yesterday, Sunday, I did push day, so I trained delts, chest, and triceps. And I wanted to record yesterday, but no, as a matter of fact, I wanted to record for like the past, what, three days since Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's like four days. And the weather, for those of you guys who live in Toronto, you guys can vouch for me. The weather has been absolutely shit within the past four days. Last week was amazing, but the past four days were so bad, so I couldn't record, which is why I with calisthenics. Uh, this episode and the next episode didn't come out earlier. So pretty much I just did pull day today. I did push day yesterday and I didn't train legs since last week, I think. Which is my fault, but whatever. I plan on training legs a lot more when I do power lifting or power building. So the clips that you see before the workout are actually from Wednesday. So they're almost a week apart. This entire video is pretty much like five days apart. The weather is actually making me realize more and more why I need to hurry up and get to the gym. And I plan on starting power building calisthenics in December. I still have to call the gym and call the manager or talk to the manager about recording there. Because I remember I emailed him and he told me that I'm able to record in there as long as I don't get anyone in the shot. And I'm hoping, I won't be able to get the camera by the time I start power building with calisthenics, but I will be able to get the new computer, hopefully upgrade the editing. And I have an ideal of how I'm going to start shooting power building with calisthenics. And it won't be like how I did with powerlifting and calisthenics. It'll be more of a mixture with this. And you know what, let me not even mention his name, but another guy inspired me to record the videos in the way that I want to record them now. So pretty much two more paychecks from McDonald's and I should be getting my new laptop. It's like what, 1300 plus tax? It's a real nice laptop. It should be able to edit videos fast. And people keep telling me to like build my own computer or build my own laptop, but yo, like I don't know all of that shit still. I don't know how to do all of that. I'm not trying to pay anybody to build a laptop for me. Now in terms of the progress for bodybuilding with calisthenics or for my bulk, I'm not even gonna tell you guys how much I weigh now, but in like the next episode, no. In the episode after the next, I'll show you guys my weight just to not get your hopes up because I don't want to tell you guys my weight now and hope and see it drop. So. I'll show you guys my progress in two episodes after this and I promise you I've been making results. And it's funny because a lot of people were trying to get at me for not making progress during the summer when I was having my, my rough time with the baby coming and everything. And I was trying to say like, yo, I know bulking with calisthenics work, I know how to do it, I was just not in a good space. I told you guys, just wait until I get into that good space again, wait till I get my life back on track and I promise you guys. I will be bringing results and now I'm bringing results and I can't wait to show you guys man like, it's just so funny like I know I complain a lot but I still actually do things about my circumstances I just don't complain and let life happen to me so yeah I told you guys it's possible to bulk with calisthenics yes I use a weighted vest obviously you should be using a weighted vest so you could actually achieve progressive overload and increase the intensity of your workouts or your exercises or you can even slow down the reps for those of you guys who can't afford a weighted vest or don't have other types of weights to use but all in all you're able to bulk with calisthenics i've been following up i've been keeping up with my diet a lot better lately and i haven't been eating too much mcdonald's well for the past 10 days right i've been eating a lot of rice and chicken eating a lot of uh, actually eating a lot of rice to be honest a lot of rice and meat whether it's corned beef i haven't had a macro for a while but i have a lot of chicken and i had some fish also so I'm telling you guys it's possible to bulk if you just stay consistent and of course people go through things man like I'm not perfect I'm not gonna act like oh just because I know how to bulk I'm gonna be able to bulk perfectly I'm not even eating I'm not even eating a proper diet but I don't care I'm just trying to get in the calories make sure I get in at least five meals a day and make sure I remain consistent with my diet and my workout and I will see results which is what I'm seeing and if you can't already tell by now I'm very tired I'm just like oh, I'm in the mellow state it's freaking Monday how many people really get up on Monday hype as hell? Like, yo, it's Monday, let's... G well, you know what's funny too? Mondays don't really have any type of effect on me. Like, it's just another day. Like, heck, I worked all weekend, so it's like, I don't really... A Monday isn't really dreadful since I, since I don't have a typical work 
weak like the rest of y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I cannot wait to show you guys what's to come in the future. We are approaching 1 million views. I know it's not a lot, but yo, it's a lot to me, man. It's a freaking lot to me. And I just cannot wait to show, I just can't wait to see what strength over size will bring, man. Like the changes that will be happening are going to be amazing. I promise you guys, I promise you. Just stick with me. I thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this entire thing, throughout the, the, the baby coming after the baby coming the depression my sad videos my weird awkward videos my fun videos i thank you guys for sticking with me throughout everything man so just stay tuned next episode coming i don't know when but it will be coming so peace out done Dude, i don't know how much weight's in there still i just put weight in there and do it it's probably what Come on, come on, bro, come on. I can't lie, I'm rooting for the cow